In this video, we'll be looking at color grading with gradient map in Photoshop. So in my previous color grading video, I did something using curves. If you haven't watched that, I'll suggest a link card for you to go watch or even link down in the description below, tap on it and go watch that video. So looking at this, I got this image from Photoshop. I will also link the behind the scenes of this shoot for you guys to see what he did. So I have retouched this image using my dodging and bending processes and all that and this is what we have in here. So we're healing, color correction, I think let me see here, healing, color correction, dodging and bending, teeth whitening. And we move the image from this to that and I did the basic adjustments here in Photoshop. So if I double tap on this and I show you the before and after, you can see quite some difference in there. So I did my basic fixing here in Photoshop so that for those who would complain or say they don't have Lightroom or Capture One to work with or those who just work in Photoshop, you can do everything here and camera raw. Just update your camera raw and you'll be good to go. So with this, I think I want to boost up the warmth a little bit. Yeah. So before and after before and after right now i want to color grade this with gradient map so have in mind whatever colors you have here with your color checker tool or with your color um your foreground color and your background color the moment you tap on the gradient map which is here in your adjustment or when you come here gradient map to i will pick the so let me turn this off and come back to this background layer you realize this was on the background this was sorry this was on the background this was on the foreground so with the gradient map to what it does is it picks up your foreground into the shadows and your background into the highlights that's what we have here and if you are familiar with split toning this is more like split toning in Photoshop so if I should turn this back on you realize the blacks are in my shadows and the whites are in my highlights and if I want to keep um, this this way this if I want to turn my images into black and white what I normally use is the gradients map to so yes we are done with the color grading now let's move on to the next video so I would want to reduce the opacity as normally when I want to color grade I reduce the saturation the overall saturation of my image using black and white so this is the before and this is the after no i think it's on zero so minus nine percent opacity so this is the before and this is the after before and the after now i would want to push in some blues into my shadows and with that i'll create another gradient map too make sure i turn this off right and i double tap here so if you have been with me on my youtube channel you guys know that 50 percent gray literally does nothing to any part of the image so i want to just affect um or i want the effect to just happen in my shadows and not my highlights so within my highlight change i'll just change the brightness to 50 percent gray then within the blacks so all i have to do is just tap on this and come hit on the color when the blacks i pick up the blues i want so let's see this shade of blue oh magenta is no okay let's keep the shade of blue desaturated a little bit and click on okay and okay so if i should turn this back on this right now is within my shadows right so nothing here in the highlights just in the shadows now change the blending mode from normal to soft light and you can see what it's doing here already so if i want to dial this down I'll just reduce the opacity right and keep it within my shadows so as you can see this is the before and this is the after so you can also do this in such a way that you pick the colors here instead then you just tap on the gradient map ingredients map picks up the colors for you so i'll just tap on this and maybe I want to I want to push this, push some warmth into the. Let's do. 
Okay, I think let's do some warm things today. Blacks. And my background color I'll pick somewhere around red. So a very desaturated red. So this is more saturated but with a different hue of red. A very saturated red. And let's see desaturated going into the pinks. So darker red and then I'll just tap on the gradients map and this is what I have so I have the warmth in my shadows or in my blacks and the reds in my highlights if I want to reduce the opacity this is what I get I think I'll change the blending mode from that to soft light to overlay let's see what overlay does overlay also does a very good job mm, I think I'll keep it there so five now Let's go back to the very preset gradients map gives. So if you tap on, let me delete this. If you tap on gradients map and you tap on the color selection over here, you realize gradients map or gradients editor gives you their own preset. If you don't, if you don't have this as your default, just tap on this and go to photographic toning and just click on OK. It will change to this what you're seeing over here. Now I would want to pick up some presets already in here. I think I like this golden feel. And if I want to keep it just within my highlights, I'll just use blend if so I'll double tap on this particular gradient map. I have this here. Come here, you, you just see blend if with the blending mode on gray. I want to keep it just within my mid-tones. So I'll move it away from my shadows and yep, I think. And about here is great for me. I hold Alt on the keyboard and I'll split the slider so that it becomes a very smooth transition. So if I should check this off and on, you can see I have added color to the highlights. All I'll do is just reduce the opacity for it to look cool. Now I have this. I want to make let's say I want to fix the color tone on the skin and that's on the face and maybe on the hand too i can use gradients map too so make sure you select your background layer zoom in into your image pick up your foreground color so with the foreground color i'm looking at let's say the highlights i'm looking at the highlighted sorry with the foreground color i'm looking at the shadowy areas in my image so i'll pick in about somewhere here right then with the background color I'll pick closer to my highlight so this is a good representation of my highlights I didn't go pick here because there's too much light here not too much representation so I probably want to work within this range click on ok then take a look at this I have this in my foreground which is the shadowy part of the blacks and this is my background which is the highlighted part so all I have to do is come up here and tap on this then this is a good representation of the color on her skin if i want to use this to further enhance her skin color but i would want to add some um mid-tones to this so we are now just within the shadows and the highlights so to add mid-tones to this out initially it was the selection was on the max if you do this you wouldn't be able to do any selection here right so tap on the adjustment which is this make the selection make sure the selection is on this one turn off the adjustment you still have this color over here this color swatch over here tap on it and create create another color adjustment here make sure the location is 50 so shadow midtones and highlights now i have this selected i tap on the color and i zoom in onto the face so between the shadowy part and the highlighted part as your mid tones i just tap on this and this this particular color gives me the mid tones in the image so if i should turn this back on from what we saw before and what you're seeing now it's a very different one so from this i just change this to what color then i'll duplicate the same layer right make sure command g or control g on the keyboard to duplicate this and change this to soft light now i have two very different gradient map layers i'll group them then i'll reduce the opacity for this one so with this i just want it to affect the skin 
and not the whole image so i'll mask it invert it to black by holding command or control i on a keyboard pick up my brush to make sure i have a flow of say 30 make sure my brush is a very soft brush soft round brush hardness zero then i start painting all over the skin for every part of the skin to look the same for me So let's see a quick before and after, before and after, before and after. So looking at this, let's see, hold out and see what we've selected. Okay, I think we need to paint in here more so that it fills in very well. Now I have this in here. So this shows how you can use gradients map let's name this color gradient so this shows how you can use gradients map to change the mood or to color grade your pictures in photoshop so this is the before and after before and after quite some changes with it in there so yeah this is how i would use gradients map and color grading my images in photoshop if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe Turn on the bell notification icon to get notified of any future uploads coming up very soon. And I'll see you in the next color grading video. Peace.